Thanks for stopping by to check out this video. Today, I'm going to show you how to take down a floater in grounded mode. Tip number one, always keep moving. As you can see, the floater has these clusters on his body that he can actually throw um, his four clusters. And if one of those hits you, you're done. Uh, tip number two, uh, try to take out the runners uh, with hand-to-hand -hand combat. But if it's more than one, you might want to take them out with a shotgun. Uh, and a little side note, um, do not use the shotgun on the blooder at this time uh, because th it won't work. The spore clusters actually act as an armor uh, and uh, you can't take them down uh, with a shotgun. You can only take them out with a uh, sniper rifle and handgun. See here, I got one of the spore clusters. There's three total. Just be patient, take out one at a time, and then you can take them down. And always be aware of runners. Uh, don't rush in and get them. Um, make sure the bloater has thrown his spore cluster uh, before you engage the runner. Because if you're stuck in mid battle and the bloater throws his spore cluster, you're done. And after you pick up bullets, make sure you always reload. Because you don't want to hear the click of an empty gun when you're trying to shoot one of the enemies, including the bloater. And there's no need to rush in uh, to save Bill or Ellie right away um, if one of the runners are attacking. They can typically take care of themselves. You just need to be aware of where the bloater is and when he's throwing the clusters. Only engage the runners after he's thrown his spore cluster. And just keep moving and you'll be fine. Now make sure you get it a good position to take out these four clusters. Wait till he turns around, bam. Now that's the second one. That was actually a lucky shot. Um, that shoulder cluster is probably one of the hardest shots you can make um, in this sequence. Um, I actually got lucky on that one. You'll see I finally shot the last cluster, um, and he no longer has four clusters he can throw at you, so that attack he can't do, but he's still very dangerous. So keep moving, and slowly take him out, and be aware of the runners still. Um, at this point, you can use the shotgun on the bloater. Um, that will hurt him. Um, and But just keep running around, take out the runners, and slowly take him down. You'll actually notice that it does not take uh, many shots to take him down at this point, but if you rush in, um, he will tear you apart. I got to this point in the sequence many, many times, um, but kept trying to rush it, and I would get owned every single time. Um, so just use the same tactics of running around, um, avoiding him, and slowly plugging away and, and grabbing ammo when you find it. See? The click, the click, click, click of the shotgun. Not a good sound. That's gonna leave a mark. Let's see here, just a couple more shots. Done. See, there you go. That's how you take down a bloater. But make sure you reload your shotgun, because you're not done yet. And if you mess up this last little bit, you'll have to start all the way from the beginning. Can we get the fuck out of here? Please. After you help Bill and Ellie up, you're going to have three more runners charge at you, so make sure your shotgun is loaded. Alright, come on. Joel, behind you! 
Don't panic. Now there's one more, and then you're done. There you go. That's how you defeat the bloater sequence. Thanks for watching, and let me know how you defeated the bloater. And if you have any other areas or sequences that you're having trouble with, go ahead and leave a post and I'll try to make a video for it. Thanks again for watching.